I'll make this a quick one because I think we're going over time. Um, mm -hmm. A company called iRobot who makes you know you know the uh, the Roomba the vacuum robot. Um, What's got a scuba? What? Oh no no not 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 this one sorry they, they clean the pool. Oh okay they do that as well I get more. more. But anyway uh, on May twenty first they launched what they call the iRobot Sea Glider. And it's basically an aut autonomous um, undersea robot that they just um, let off into the Gulf, and it just went around and monitored all the oil spills in the Gulf. Sweet. So, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Cool. We've <laughs> they, got they, the robots yeah, exploring the ocean. They collected <laughs> a whole bunch of uh, of data and stuff. Um, and how this would, I, I'm just thinking right now, this would be really cool for Google, like Google Maps. Imagine if they just yeah. released like autonomous robots under the sea that could go and just identify. You know, the depth yeah, of all the oceans, and even new species. Imagine a robot. Because well, they've, they've already got the depth of all the oceans on Google stuff. Uh, Google. Know. Yeah. But I imagine if you could, like, yeah, go hardcore. Because like, the they, they probably just use sonar or something to do that. I think so, when they do yeah. yeah. Imagine if you could have unsee robots that just go and explore and find new species. Yeah. Because apparently, like, the, the ocean is, like, one of the least known places on the Earth. Yeah, it's so inhospitable. Yeah, we just can't hey, go see Did it. you know that we've actually sent a submarine down to the, the lowest point in the ocean, to the marina trench? Cool. Yeah, I didn't actually realise that we'd actually got down there, but that happened like ages back. We think so, we've gone to the moon. And... Yeah, I know, but I mean, <laughs> at the bottom of the ocean's far, I'd say, probably more difficult than, you know, outer space. Just the pressure. Yeah, it's a lot of, it's very heavy. Yeah. But I thought that was kind of cool. It's happened multiple times as well. <laughs> the more you know. Bye. Yeah, that, that's all, but that, that's, that just seems that's cool. cool. Let's get more robots playing, going around. I think they're, they're going to continue going through. You're yeah. going to see robots flying around and doing all the cool stuff. Just yeah. doing a lot of exploring. Well, you know, like Predator drones and all of that. that <laughs> just flying around. Yeah, just, but, you know, consumer-based ones. That, like, we've already got helicopters, like Killing kids terrorists. doing toys and all of that. Why not actually just have, like, awesome battery life? Just these planes and stuff just flying around and same in the ocean. You can just log on and say, oh, okay, I want to see what's happening right here. And you log into whatever drones nearby oh, or something. Oh, dude, yeah, real-time maps. Yeah. There you go. Hey, you've just always got something recording going around. I mean, it's like ultimate Orwellian... Yeah. Nightmare, but it's pretty damn cool if you there open you go, it up. There you go, Google, there's an idea. Or Bing, if you want to compete, you can steal it. I'm a big fan of Bing recently, actually. They've been doing a lot of good stuff. They did this really cool thing recently, which I totally forget. But they're still Microsoft. Okay. <laughs> the product's good, though. Yeah. What do you got? One uh, final one, yeah. Is, this is just a quick one. This is, uh, if you want to be a visiting fellow at the Singularity Institute, I've got the link for you. It was uh, shared to me on my Facebook wall, and it's, um, yeah, it's it's... Pretty easy. All you've got to do is just uh, send in your resume and send in a brief thing about why you want to uh, be a, a visiting fellow. And um, yeah, they'll go from there. So here's the link. What does it mean though? What's well, a you, visiting fellow? Uh, I'm not actually sure, but you go and check out the Singularity Institute. So you go over there. I haven't read through it too much because I, I don't. Okay. I, I would like to apply, but well, they say that they only like accept the, you know, they've got the best of the best there, but they said anyone can apply, you can try it. I was like, yeah. Well, ah! <laughs> That's why I get scared by silly things like well, they've that. They've got the uh, the Singularity Summit coming up soon. Mm, it's in that would be August, nice I think. To go to. And they just recently, uh, I think we, we forgot to mention it last episode, but um, they had the Humanity Plus Summit, H Plus Summit, mm. in like June. Oh, yeah, I watched some of them. I should have actually looked on that. Yeah, there's a few it, videos so. up there, but they're not very. They're not cataloged very well. Mm. We'll have to check that yeah, out. Maybe cool. for next week, have a look and speak yeah. about them. I think. So yeah, um, yeah, no, definitely check this out if you're at all interested in Singularity. If you've done some stuff, just send it in. Like, what have you got to lose? I'm, I'm probably going to send this in. I'm going to see what it's about. I only literally just, it was only literally just shared on my Facebook wall, like, maybe an hour, half an hour before this show started. So, so I was like, oh my god, this is really cool. So check it out. Right. If you guys are at all interested, do it. Come on, what do you got and, to lose? And um, we just, uh, we yeah, we just started up, um, well, I'm working on it at the moment. It, hopefully it'll be finished by the time this is out. Uh, SingularityTube.com. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Just because I don't think there isn't any place for like just a whole bunch of awesome videos about like AI and transhumanism and yeah. technology and robotics. And just one place, like a video scenario. community where you can actually discuss and talk yeah. about it all. Plus, it's a pretty sexy site. It is. It's sleek, like it. very sleek. Um, do we want to talk a bit about? Because um, since we're trying to establish ourselves as a singularity podcast, just because it's a good idea. Shit, really? Yeah. <laughs> We because be filled in okay, okay, we're, we're both massive singularitarians. Horrible, horrible word. We, we like we we've been following it for a while. We actually, I think we we came up with the idea, sort of. I hate, I hate to say it, but it wasn't independently. No, was well, I, I knew about it since the book came out. Before it came out. Oh, okay. There was only became like interested in it like together. It was all through TED talks and stuff. Really. Okay. But we kind of came to the similar conclusion. Well, yeah, with some stuff without reading through it. Somewhat. It was pretty sweet. 
But yeah, um, so we want to talk about like a singularity topic each week as well. Hmm. Rather than, like, even though our, our whole thing is about technology leading to the laws of singularity, but also just some ideas on what, you know, we think might be happening or some hardcore singularity stuff. Well, what like, they, yeah, yeah, what they think is going to be there, like yeah. some of the big topics. Yeah. And so for the one for this week, what were we going to do? Um, well, I like the idea of the, the I, I call it like the neural link. Like the idea that, um, like BCI technology is getting really popular now, that's yeah. brain computer interface. And I think what will eventually happen is um, the end game will be we can connect human brains to each other wirelessly on a neural level. Yeah. So you think that together as a yeah. global hive mind. Problem is that will require like um, nanotech because you kind of need a nanobot to wrap mm. each individual neuron automatically. But before then, I think there's a lot of uh, consumer devices at the moment that just use um, like, uh, is it ECG or something? Or F fMRI or something like that. One of those things where it just sits on the outside and it, and it can monitor it brainwave activity. Yeah. And I think we'll start off with that sort of thing. See, so, yeah, this is where I, I, I disagree with you with that way. I think it's going to be another progression that it's going to be more the mobile phone actually moving up towards it. That like actually getting into your head, I don't think it's going to be for, yeah, for yeah, a the, while. Yeah. Like even with the, the reading of the mind going on and stuff that... I, I don't know. I, I don't really see it. I see it probably like what you were saying with the like nano robotics and stuff actually going in that way. That that's going to be the brain computer. Interface. Yeah, that's that's the end game. But uh, well, a lot well, of the the, the hot overlay. If you have tech glasses that mm. have that same technology that read brain waves that yeah. links to your mobile phone, then we can start. I mean, the army's working on it. They're working on um like uh, telepathy essentially. Yeah. Because with that basic technology, you can have telepathy. You, when you I think you something, don't need to, yeah, yeah, it just sends it out to everyone. It sends it out to whoever it needs to go to, and they instantly get a, a sense that you, you know, they've got a message from. Well, see, that's a cool thing. Like, yeah, what you were saying with the hot overlay, like the glasses going down there, you just think, and it pops up as a message, and you send that out to everyone. Yeah. I mean, that's such a we say like you know direct like neural thing going in. That's that's going to be it. But just actually having the message right yeah. in front of your eyes is like oh fuck yeah. with just thinking. That's just, the ultimate input. Better than touch. Yeah, but no matter how it goes, eventually like we're gonna link neurons to neurons. Yeah. And the brilliance of that is that is like a you know say we say the population peaks out at ten billion and we, there's ten people ten billion people using this mm -hmm. that's a global brain of that makes up one brain of ten billion people yeah ten billion it, it'll be to the point where if any neuron fires in anyone's brain that could potentially like spark neural interactions between any it's the other ultimate brain. viral network and, and it's like yeah. It's the same way that like it, how the brain's organized now with you know different neurons firing and they're just connected in a network yeah. where the individual well thing and then we actually just yeah we're already we're now at the moment connecting us to it and then it's just going to be connecting more and more neurons so it actually powers it more and more and more until the planet wakes up which is the basic idea I guess yeah and that is I think that that's hardcore biological AI. Yeah, well, that, that's that's a With set. Technology. That's like you know how people say uploading yourself to machine and all of that. You know, there's all stories yeah. and stuff like that. That's essentially what that is, really. Yeah. That if you can actually just connect all the neurons going there, and then it does go a little bit further. We probably won't talk about it now, but it's kind of the yeah, idea really that answer. yeah, that you could actually use the uh, the machine to simulate you because once it knows how all your neurons fire and how yeah. all that works, just make a computer simulation, then you don't need all of the biological crap. And then that that's immortality because you just yeah. Yeah, and that's one of the, the big themes of the singularity, yeah. uploading yourself. A lot I, of people talk about that. I really like this idea, actually, just talking about this, um, a, a, a different aspect all the time. Yeah. Well, might, might well the people that get to the end of the podcast are the ones who are actually interested in this yeah. stuff. So. Well, so we, we could even <laughs> switch it around a bit, like even having it in the middle or going something through there. I, I like, yeah. we could experiment with this. It's kind yeah. of cool. Sounds good. Cool. Sweet. Catch yes. you guys next week. Uh, this has been High 45, episode 20 for the 20th of June. Yeah. I'm Nathan Waters. I'm Tristan Grace. Catch Have you guys on the other side. Don't catch me, I'm, I'm going to be alone looking at the 12 second porn clip. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>